on SoapNet. Second. Oh, honey, let me finish the bed. Are you going to clean beds and then the stove when a whole world's passing by out here? Well, somebody has to do it. Hey, look, I, I didn't get this apartment. It's been my life cleaning. I got it because it looks out over the docks and the river. There's ships from all over the world sailing in and out of here. There's a super tanker out here. Just a minute. I'll bet he was down in Venezuela. Maybe out in the Mideast. Would you like to see some palm trees? Uh, listen to some uh, wild musical instruments? I would if I'm with you. How would you like to save our money and uh, take a trip around the world? You can swim in the ocean all year round. We could uh, we get a little boat of our own so that uh, we'd make love whenever we wanted. Be free to follow the winds and the tides and uh, just be together, always. I'll go, yes. to save our money and take a trip around the world. You can swim in the Indian Ocean all year round. We'd get a little boat of our own so we could uh, make love whenever we wanted. Be free to follow the winds and the tides. Just be together, always. Mary? What? Alex, has something happened? Just when there's no hope left. Matthew. And. What did you do to my mom? Help, my fiance's hurt! A bully goes too far. Sure, but she's gonna be okay, right? Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. Who's coming and who's going? SoapNet has the status update on your favorite stars. On General Hospital, Bruce White's is back as gangster Anthony Zakara. At some turn of events. On The Young and the Restless, Emily O'Brien is saying goodbye to Genoa City. Another time? Daytime favorite Tamar Braun is Taylor on Days of Our Lives. Okay, I'll drink to that. And on One Life to Live, Roger Howarth is back in Landview. I have to be with my family. Keep up with the latest status updates on SoapNet. You know how it is. You look in the mirror one day and you go, how am I going to lose this weight? E-Diet's meal delivery from eDiets.com. It's the easiest, smartest, most delicious way to eat great and finally lose the weight. I know you're thinking, eat great and lose weight? Really? Really. You'll love the food. There's no MSG, no fake sugars. The food tastes fantastic. It's awesome. Very delicious. It tastes wonderful. Call now or go to eDiets.com. Choose from over 100 fresh prepared meals. Not dehydrated diet food, but really delicious food. eDiets will deliver your favorite meals and snacks in a chill, fresh container. All you have to do is relax, enjoy, and eat great all the way to slim. I lost 115 pounds. 65 pounds. 25 pounds. 94 pounds. Along the way, eDiets.com gives you real support. Terrific online tools, access to registered dietitians and trainers, and friends who care about your success. They're there with you to hold your hand, and they really care. Truthfully, I like everything about eDiets. I've lost 30 pounds. All of a sudden, I find myself a changed person. Hey, I made it to 50 pounds, and look at me now, I'm 60 pounds. 
Millions of people have turned to eDiets.com to lose the weight. Now it's your turn. Call or go to eDiets.com and sign up for seven full days of meals, three meals per day, fresh prepared just for you, plus snacks. So don't wait. Join eDiets. Eat great food and lose weight fast. I believe that eDiets can change people's lives. My husband will often say, you're the hot wife. That's just boosted my confidence a lot. Eat Diets has changed my life forever. Call to find out how you can get one week of meals absolutely free. That's right. One week of fresh prepared food. One week of weight loss. One week of success. Free. Free? What are you waiting for? Call or go online to get started now. Call 1-800-279-1604 or visit eDiets.com now. He's holding his own. That's about all. I'm sorry. No, I was just thinking. Maybe I'm just a born sucker for underdogs, but when the whole family was up in arms about Mary first going around with Jack, I, I sort of liked him. <laughs> he may not be the easiest person in the world, but at least he, uh, he's not dull. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think even your father would accuse him of that. Yeah, that's about the only thing he didn't. <laughs> Truth is, Jack's mellowed a lot since Mary married him. You really think so? Yeah. Well, you remember the night we went to dinner at their apartment and uh, Mary and I started getting at each other? And it was Jack who was making peace. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, now, in the old days, Jack would have been trying to get us into a real fight so he could find out all the hidden disagreements in the Ryan family. You two fight, <laughs> I'll take notes. <laughs> I was a little surprised he didn't that night. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of like he was proving that, that he was the person Mary claimed he was all along. Are you saying that all Jack needed to mend his ways was the love of a good woman? Well, I think that Mary's love helped him a lot, yeah. I do, too. <sighs> Watching her in there with him, trying to will him back together again. Pat, it isn't over. He has a chance, doesn't he? Yeah, of course he does. Ah, I'm afraid um, i got to be more objective about this case. I, I keep slipping into anxieties about the outcome. It isn't easy with Jack being your brother-in-law. Besides, you put in a long night. You're tired. When was the last time you really got out of this place and, and relaxed? Uh, it was the year of the flood, I believe. <laughs> that recently? Have you thought any more about the Medical Society dinner dance? Faith, um, I'm not sure, under the circumstances. It seems to me, under the circumstances, that it would be the best thing in the world for you, and there wouldn't be any problem to it. In fact, I think it would be good medicine for you. You're very persuasive. <laughs> You'll look wonderful in a dinner jacket and a ruffled shirt. I've never had one on before. You'll like it. Uh. Pat, <laughs> you have been in this hospital about 18 out of every 24 hours for the past month, at least. Come out and play a little. Do I have to wear a ruffle shirt? Yes. And you have to dance in the moonlight and drink a great deal of wine, uh. preferably champagne. <laughs> then you have to tell me the story of the furl Shannon and the speckled fish. <laughs> you still remember that? <laughs> Vaguely. I think I should be told it again, though. Uh. Oh, Pat, won't you take me to the ball? Sure. <laughs> and I'll pick you up in a pumpkin coach drawn by six gray mice. And I'll kiss you and you'll turn into a frog, is that right? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> the part about the frog, anyway. I like the rest of it. Good. You know, I'm, I'm just uh, beginning to realize how much I've missed you. Since I moved down to pediatrics, you mean? Since we stopped going around together. Hi! Oh, look, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Look, if you're talking about a patient, just go on talking. No, it's okay. I was really feeling awful about Jack. I just wanted to find out if anything was new at all. Honey, his condition's unchanged. He's still listed as critical. Critical. Do you think maybe I could go in and see him? Uh, I don't think so. He's in the recovery room, and he's in a lot of pain. 
kind of gives you a helpless feeling, you know? Look, I better uh, go back to work or I'll never get out of here tonight. Tomorrow I was thinking I'd take a look at the garrison girl. Uh, maybe I'll see you then, okay? Fine. Catch you at home, I guess. Sure. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say this, but uh, don't you think you were being a little obvious before? What? Well, I'm standing uh, clear across the room, and I saw how you were looking at Pat. Pat and I have been friends for years. Well, you know what's funny about that? It's exactly the way uh, Jill looks at Frank. Exactly the way. You know, I don't know what it is, but the uh, Ryan men seem to have a, a special appeal to the college girls, don't they? And for you, too, apparently, Delia. Excuse me, miss. Uh, are, are these flowers for sale? Yes, they are. Well, uh, I have a big bunch. Well, okay, sure. How, how about this one? Mmm, it's kind of skimpy. How about, how about this one? Fine. Uh, would you like a card? No. No, I think they're just fine the way they are. Thank you. In fact, I think this is exactly what I need. Easy, easy. There hasn't been any change. Jack's still unconscious. I'm sorry. It's just that every minute in here seems like an hour. Well, Mary, that's exactly what I want to deal with. Now, listen, you have to understand that we're not expecting any sudden changes. You're going to have to get yourself ready for a good long wait. Well, I thought you expected Jack to regain consciousness. Well, we do, Mary, but it hasn't happened yet, and it may not happen for hours. Oh, is that bad? Questions like that are borrowing trouble. The trouble is I don't know what I'm waiting for or what I'm hoping well, for. Mary, neither do we. Now, Jack's had a head injury, which is potentially serious or it may be nothing at all. He's had some heart damage, which at best will take some time to mend. His punctured lung should heal, but he is susceptible to respiratory infection in the meantime. And there was extensive abdominal bleeding, which required a lot of surgery. Now, what we're hoping for is that there will be an uneventful recovery, but, well, there are predictable complications. Oh, we just may get a surprise. There's, there's no way of guessing, Mary. I suppose he's lucky to be alive, huh? Very. But aren't you looking for any special sign of progress today? Well, we will breathe a little easier when he wakes up. Then you do expect him to come to by now. Oh, Mary, not ex... Mary, not exactly, although he has been out rather a long time. Alex, you just said it could be hours still. You're talking in circles. Now, listen, Jack has just been through surgery that a lot of other people might not have survived. Now, he's strong, and he's healthy, and he's a fighter. Oh, I hope so. Oh, I have no doubts about that. <laughs> we once got ourselves involved in a, in a wild goose chase back in Vietnam. Do you want some coffee? No, thank you. We tried to get some medical supplies to a group of uh, refugees in the Delta, about 40 miles southwest of Saigon. Well, we got cut off by the Viet Cong before we knew what was happening. <laughs> it took us about five hours to get down there and five days to get back. But if there was one guy who was determined we were going to make it, it was Jack. You don't have to tell me how stubborn he is. He's also not a quitter. We figured out later that we'd uh, had about nine hours sleep that whole five days. The guy who was always first on his feet telling us we ought to move on, though, was Jack. I hope the fighting will be enough. If you can get, it, get him some time, it, it's plenty. Alex, can't you tell me anything more? The waiting is just... Mary, you know, doctors don't like the waiting any more than anyone else. But you get used to it. Up to a point. And you can't do anything for him? Well, there are lots of things I could try. Come on, sit down. But I'm not sure that any of them would help. And we may just hurt him in the process. You know, it's, it's so hard for doctors when there's a whole family clustered around wanting them to do something, do anything. And the doctor knows that the best thing is just to sit and 
wait. Oh. Now, we've got to be patient, Mary. Just watch Jack and see how he develops. Now, if there are any complications, I'll know exactly what to do, but for the moment, I don't want to try anything else. I'm really sorry if I've been a nuisance. Oh, come on, you haven't. No. In fact, you've been ten times more restrained than most patients' wives that I've had to deal with. Thanks. That's the truth. So, what you want now is for Jack to come true. Well, amongst other things. Alex, could it help if I tried to talk to him? I mean, would he hear me? Well, we're not too sure about what unconscious people hear. It might, it might not. I want to do something, anything. I don't think it would hurt. You want to try? Oh, could I? Okay, come on. But, Mary, no. now promise me one thing, please. Sure, what? Now, I don't want you to be disappointed. Please. Please don't expect too much, okay? I won't. Thanks. So will you help me? I would be honored this week. A hospital in crisis. What the hell is going on there? We're on lockdown. But who won't make it out alive? Ah! Spinelli is not the only one who dies. Watch General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Nature is unique, pure, and also delicious. Like Nature Valley, granola bars made with crunchy oats and pure honey. Nature Valley, 100% natural, 100% delicious. Medical studies show that patients who take Plavix are at an increased risk of serious bleeding, including hemorrhagic stroke, TTP blood disorder, gastrointestinal bleeding, bleeding from ears, eyes, and nose, bleeding ulcers, subdural hematoma, and death. The FDA recently issued a new black box warning for Plavix. If you or a loved one suffered serious side effects or died after taking Plavix, you may be entitled to money damages. Call Audet and Partners at 1-888-99-AUDET or visit us online at audetlaw.com. Oh, gourmet deliciousness. I want you tonight. Wish granted. Lean Cuisine has a fresh new bag. Lean Cuisine Market Creation Steam Meals, like new chicken poblano with tender white meat chicken, crisp veggies in a savory cheddar sauce. New from Lean Cuisine. This summer, the party's on SoapNet. We have a party to rock. You will never take over my life. Nothing is going to change how I feel about you. I love Can Die, baby. Oh, it is so on. What? Shut up! And you won't believe who's coming. You're back. This is one summer shindig you don't want to miss. I am ready to have summer of my life. Only on SoapNet. Gone. Hello? Anybody home? Hi. Hi. Uh, your mom's downstairs. She's with Johnny. You know, I think uh, keeping busy is going to be very good for her. Probably so. Those are pretty. Yeah, I guess they are. Are they for Mary? No, they're for me. Yeah? Yeah. They're from Roger. Roger? Hey, Pat, don't look at me like that. The only reason I took them is I didn't want to hurt the feelings of this, this little old lady who was selling flowers. Dee, you said you were going to stay away from him. Pat, I am staying away from him. It's just that he's not staying away from me. After I saw you, I was walking out. I was crossing the street. So he stopped me and asked me about Jack. Oh, that's not why he stopped you. Yeah, well, I know that. I mean, I didn't want to be rude. I, I answered his question. Dee? Oh, well, look, anyway. Anyway, I'm talking to him. I told him how upset Mary was. And, uh, well, I don't know. This little lady comes walking by, and he says, oh, he wanted to buy me some flowers. I got to so, tell you, the thought of him buying you flowers just drives me up a wall. Patty, I, I couldn't stop it. I just couldn't. Oh, come on. I really couldn't. I, I just really couldn't. I mean, he, he just... He was so nice. He was nice about Jack. He was nice about Mary. He was nice about me. Yeah, I'll bet. 
Yeah, it's really unfair of you to be like this. Look, don't... Doesn't this family have enough problems without your encouraging Roger? Why encouraging him? I'm sorry, I don't mean to get upset. It's just that uh, all I was doing was on a public street for three minutes talking to someone. You should have seen the way he looked. I mean, he was just slumped over and he looked so sad. Yeah, well, if you ask me, he deserves to look a little sad. Well, don't worry about it. He looked very sad. He looked awful. Look, I know you're not going to approve of this, but I really feel sorry for him. After what he's done to you? After what he's done to Frank? You know, Frank isn't the only one who's suffering. You know, Roger's suffering also. I mean, he lost a job that meant a lot to him. He has two sisters who don't care about him, who hardly speak to him at all. Yeah, well, if they've got enough sense not to speak to him, why don't you? Because I'm not like Jill. And I'm really not like Faith. You know, I know what it's like to be in a family where nobody talks to you. Oh, now, come on, it's not that bad. Yeah, it you. is that bad. You know, you're not here all day. You don't see the way Maeve treats me. You know, Johnny just looks right through me. Now, listen, I... I know things haven't been easy for you. No, they haven't here. been easy for me at all. I don't think you can imagine how hard they've been. But Roger Coleridge is not the answer. Well, do you have a better answer? I don't know. Time, maybe. Yeah, time. I've given it a lot of time. And, um... I've really been miserable for weeks. Roger's all alone. And he's all rejected, and so am I. <sighs> okay. Okay, feel sorry for him, but just stay away from him. Why? I mean, why should I? See, at least he buys me... He buys me flowers. Nobody in this family is buying me any flowers at all. Next, spend some time in Genoa City with the young and the restless. Later, see who's stirring up trouble in Pine Valley on All My Children. Only on SoapNet. Taylor accuses Rafe of murder. What is going on? And left without backup. You'll get no support from the Salem PD. How far will he go to clear his name? You give me straight answers or you get this. Watch Days of Our Lives, weeknights at 6 and 11 on SoapNet. This week on All New Views, the hot cast from Hot in Cleveland, Valerie Bertinelli, Jay Leaves, and Wendy Malick. Also, funny man Chris Rock's new gig that we can't mention on TV. In a world full of heartache and confusion, what's so wrong with that? This week on All New Views on ABC. Your assignment, catch the boldest lashes. But lose the ball. New one by one mascara from Maybelline New York. Our lash catcher captures, coats, and declumps for bolder, flirtier lashes without the bulk. One by one, new for Maybelline. I'm Chef Michael, and my dog Bailey and I love to hang out in the kitchen. You love the aroma of beef tenderloin, don't you? You inspired a very special dog food. Chef Michael's canine creations. Chef inspired, dog desired. Together. Genoa City, a place for families to fall apart. I will get my daughter back. You betrayed me. I'm done with you. There's no more family. The Young and the Restless, tonight at 7 on SoapNet. Her secret is out. Who the hell are you? This week, the reason Jane really became Kane. I know about the accident. And find out which two of these people just slept together. Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. We asked Bradford Anderson to name all the Spinelli nicknames he could remember. Go! Stone Cold Mr. Serpicino-esque one, uh, Maximista blonde one, original blonde one, Prince Pectoral, Big Daddy Stone Cold the Goddess, the Divine one, Bad Blonde one, the Demented one, oh, um, the Valkyrie, um, the Brusque Lady of Justice. I could be here for literally three days, probably. See who Spinelli will nickname next on General Hospital, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Want more of your favorite soaps? 
That's great. Log on to abc.com slash daytime. Watch current full episodes of All My Children, General Hospital, and One Life to Live. Online critics love it. Plus, get exclusive sneak peeks of what's coming up next. Sounds like a thumbs up to me. Connect with other fans to discuss what's on your mind. I always want to hear what you have to say. And check out the 101 galleries to get an intimate look at the history of your favorite characters. That's the best news I've heard all day. Find it all now at abc.com slash daytime. All right for now. Alex, is he in pain? No, no, not while he's unconscious. At least not as far as we know. But he will be when he comes to. I'm not so sure I want to try to wake him up. Very useful if you could, you know. Come on. Jack? Jack, there's someone here to see you. Now, if, he, if he doesn't hear you, it doesn't really matter. I understand. Dad? Honey, it's Mary. It's your wife. Honey, please hear what I'm saying to you. Please open your eyes. Jack. Jack Finelli, you open your eyes. I love you so much and I want you to come back to me. Darling, try to open your eyes, please. Won't you try? I am trying, Mary. Honey, can you hear me? Jack, can you hear me? I'm coming home to you, Mayor. Coming home as fast as I can. Darling, open your eyes. I want to. I know your eyelids must be heavy. That's right. Heavy. But open them and look at me just for a second, please. I'll do it, Mayor. Jack, can you hear me? Of course I can hear you. Well, who do you think I'm talking to? Alex, I don't think he hears me. Yes, I do, Mayor. If you just open his eyes for one second and look at me. I can. No, I can. Mary, that's enough for now. Come on. I suppose so, only... Don't go away, man. When you want something this much, it, it seems impossible that you can't make it happen. But I can't make him open his eyes. Yes, you could. Maybe later, huh? Thanks. Honey, I'll see you later. Alex, his eyelid flickered. I know it did. Jack, it's Mary. Can you hear me? Hi, honey. It's me. You're here and everything's going to be all right. I love you. Can you hear me? I love you. I love you. Oh. He was there for a minute. He looked at me, Alex. I know he did. It's certainly possible, Mary. Oh, sweetheart, can't you come back for just one second? If you can't open your eyes, can you say something? Cats. Got my tongue. Never mind, darling. He looked at me and he knew I was there, and that has to be good, doesn't it? I love you, honey. I love you, I love you. 